Nancy Connick is moderating today's forum on privacy issues. The program of the discussion is entitled, Who Do I Trust to Protect My Privacy? Nancy, can you tell us a little bit about why this issue is so important to the ALA's work? This issue is, uh, is related to privacy. Privacy is a key concern of librarians. Uh, this year, for the first time, ALA had a Privacy Week where we um, have a program called Privacy Revolution. And several years ago, a group of us designed a dialogue that we could have with the public to talk about issues around privacy. We often talk about privacy as experts on privacy and what people should do, and particularly what libraries should do. But we think it's also important to get the public more involved in not only understanding privacy, but a chance for them to express their own views about privacy. So we developed or framed a forum um, called Who Do I Trust to Protect My Privacy? And we have been having this forum, a, a dialogue, around the country with the public. We're having it with some of our own members of ALA today, so they get a chance not only to experience what a public forum is, which I'll tell you a little bit more about, but also we're going to teach them how to moderate a forum like we're doing in their community. It's a great way to get people from our communities, the public, more involved in issues, but also a way for them to participate in a really democratic process. They get to play the role of being citizens which, you know, in a democracy, we should have lots of opportunities. Unfortunately, we don't. But we see this as an important way not only to talk about an issue near and dear to librarians, but just as important is to position libraries as key places in our community where people get to practice democracy, where they get to be citizens, where they get to participate in making decisions, making choices about what's important to them. So this forum is what we call a deliberative dialogue where everybody in the group is a citizen. There's no experts or non-experts. We get to talk about how we feel about these issues and what we believe we should do. And by working together, we get to weigh the pros and cons, the costs, consequences, and trade-offs of making choices. And there's always tensions in making any choices in public policy, as you all know, who work in the Washington office. This is all about working through our tensions and working through problems together. So we come to, at the conclusion of our dialogue, a public voice is what do the members of that dialogue, the people who participated in it, think together through this process. So it's a way to really think together. What resources are available to ALA members who want to get more involved, including those who were not able to attend conference this year? Oh, great question. We are, uh, the American Library Association is now an ALA, uh, we're a center for public life. We work with the Kettering Foundation, which specializes in democracy and deliberative dialogue. Um, through our center, we have been training uh, librarians and others online and in person on how to uh, moderate and convene forums in their community and uh, the materials that we have developed are available on our ALA Connect site. It's a site called Libraries Foster Civic Engagement um, and on our Privacy Revolution site. So we have lots of print materials they can download for free. We also have the framework, we call it an issue map, for which you can have this dialogue uh, available posted there. So lots of materials for people. Um, we've done some online trainings and recordings of those trainings are also available so you can if you can't participate in one of these trainings you can watch other people participating in the training and get a better sense of how to go about doing one of these forums in your community great well thank you for your time today thank you we're delighted that you're interested in this issue and we hope to see you participate in the forum soon